Good afternoon, Twitch viewers. Um, this is going to be another exciting episode of Shoe Cobbles A, insert build here. Um, for our third build, I was thinking that it would be nice to build a human cleric, um, heal spec radiant servant. Um, not a very popular build at the moment due to the ability for multiple classes and whatnot to self-heal. Um, nonetheless, I thought it would be a good build to put together. Um, let me get my phone set up here so I can watch the stream and the chat channel and all that good stuff. All right, so what is the first step in building a cleric? Um, oh, since this is our third build and we're on a free-to-play account, uh, we can only have two characters per server. So that means that I will not be on um, Orion for this build or next week's build, which will be a drow wizard, I believe. I got a little bit of a sore throat still, so if I cough, I will try to minimize it going into the microphone. Let's go like this. All right, so what's the first step in getting, putting together a, any build, really? Um, the first step is character planner, is to use the character planner. Um, there's this group that made a really nice character planner and there's a whole page on wiki that needs to be updated um but that's for a different show um and tell us all about how the character planner works give some instructions whatnot and all the way down at the bottom there's a link to download the character planner you click on that tells you what the latest version is. Um, it's www.rjcyberware.com slash ddo slash ddocardgen.html. And you just click on the big blue link that says here, and it will give you the latest version, <coughs> which is currently 4.28.102. Um, I know version 5 is coming. I believe that we're going to do a 4.29 for update 29. Um, I'm not... I'm pretty sure 28 doesn't include level 30, 29 and 30, but that's okay. It's not going to be an issue for us at this point because we're doing low level stuff still. So that's the first step. Get your character planner to get started. So let's switch over here. And here is the character planner. This is what it looks like. Um, <coughs> yes, I've already decided that I'm going to be on Argonessen. Um, it will be a Radiant Servant build, so I'm not sure why that does that. Give me just a second, I gotta fix, see if I can fix that link. Oh, I probably did it wrong on the wrong account. We'll see. Just take a second here. Nope, I got it on the right one. Good. So the appropriate link is this. Shrink that down. All right, so... That is the link to the build that's going to be on the forums. Um, I've actually already built the first four levels with the character planner and posted them there. <laughs> but I'm just going to go through it quickly, give you an idea of how to use the character planner. 
Um, doesn't matter if it's male or female, really, just whatever you like. It's more of a cosmetic thing. Um, we're going to be doing a human cleric. Name is going to be Shoe Heels Cobbled by Shoemaker. I'm going to go with Lawful Good is fine. We have no true reincarnation because we're first life build. How's it going, Titan? Um, ability score, we're doing a cleric, so we want to max out our wisdom. Um, we want to get our constitution up there as high as we reasonably can. I think I went with 14. Um, we want to put in a couple points up to 12 for charisma for our turn ability. Hey, Daniela. And then I put in the last two into strength for carry capacity. Um, skill points. I Because we're going to be a heavy armor build, I'm going to max out tumble here. And then I'm going to put the rest into concentration. Feats, we get three feet as a human cleric. So I went with... <laughs> um, crud, I don't remember what I went with. So I'm just going to load the one that I already have. Let's do this. Load, shoe heels, open. All right. So feats we went with. Least Dragon Mark of Passage. I went with Empower Spell. And I went with Follower of the Sovereign Host. Um, I then spent Action Points in Radiant Servant. I took the first core. And then I took three extra turnings right off the bat. Then you go to level 2. It'll already be selected for Cleric for you. You'll spend your spell, your skill points. I maxed out Concentration, which was 1. And I believe I only had 2, so I put the other one into Heal. Those are your two primaries right there. Um, then I went to this, and I picked up Divine Healing, Improved Turning... And altruism. I went to level three. It was a cleric. Spend skill points, concentration, and heal. Select feats. I took an extend spell. Um, I don't remember which level I'm going to use it at, but it is useful for some of the spells that you you'll you will cast. They're really short duration, so that's useful. Um, I then spent action points. I finished off improved turning, and I picked up <coughs> another altruism. I went to level four. I took cleric. Um, ability increase went to wisdom. Uh, skill points went to concentration and heal. And then I spent the... Action points, I did the first action point with um, Unyielding Sovereignty. The second action point was Pacifism, or the other way around. I don't remember which way I did it. Um, and then the last one, I think, was another Altruism, but I don't remember exactly how I did it. It's in the forum post, which I might have to break off if I only do three levels today. Um, so that's basically, you just go through and you level everything up. Yeah, um, if you want to get my attention on the Wiki Titan, you go to my talk page and you leave me a message there. So to leave me a message on the Wiki, let's switch back over to the Wiki for a minute. Oh, new window. All right, so we got this. If you want to get my attention on the Wiki, <coughs> you go to user talk technical 13 and it will redirect you to the current quarter and you do add topic on my talk page yes an actual healer cleric I know right
And then make sure that you always sign with four tilds and save the page. It's going to, and that's how it happens down there at the bottom. And then when I see the recent changes, I know they're not very popular right now, but they will come back, I do believe. You can see that it's posted there. Get Shoes attention right where it should be. Anyway, we're not doing wiki stuff today. We are going to build a healer cleric. So, switch back over to endgame. Whoop. And we're done with the character planner for now. So let's start building this thing. It's a spell. <coughs> it's a cleric. Um, let me hide. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's hide um, that for a second. Uh, path, customize, race, human, look. Max out wisdom, 14 con, 12 charisma, 2 strength. Tumble, concentration, <coughs> uh, not empowered healing, empowered spell. Follower of the Sovereign Host is a class feat. And then I actually took a dragon mark for passage. Those are just a list of spells that you get. Good there. Um, shoe heels. Cobbled by Shoemaker. Lawful good. Um, let's get some nice long hair here. Black hair. I like dark hair. I don't particularly like facial marks. I like a smiley look. Let's see if I can find a smiling look. There we go. That's a smile. That's a smile I could get used to. All right, create. I don't know if you guys can hear in-game audio. Let me see if I can <coughs> make it so you can. There you go. <coughs> Alright, I should be able to put the... Twitch back. Alrighty, so let's step in. Um, you can see the other character that I have here is Shoe Farms 400 Favor. That's going to be for next week's Drow build. I'll, I'll need to unlock Drow on the server, so I'll need to get to 400 favor, and i just using a plain Barbarian to blow through stuff on <coughs> Elite with the generous help of others. So let's step in here, and the first thing I'm going to do when I get in is spend a minute customizing my options. Advanced graphics, uh, UI. Memories of a large white cooldown. Striking your ship, come flooding back. Network display, don't show hints. Pet vitals, yes. No dragon mark. Percents and party UI. I like purple dye. I like my effects right. 
Satan's dead, are you? Can you move? Disable some some of those. Okay, all that stuff's good. Can you talk? Speak to me. We're not gonna skip the Corthos line. If one that had been said was true, no one but you made it to the island alive. It may be worth following this rogue for now. Alright, shuffle this over, shuffle this down. Put this here. Adjust. You wait, you don't get your knickers in a twist there, Jeets. You wait a minute. I'll be there when I'm ready. The camp's up here. That's nice. He's, such, he's so pushy. I don't get it. Come on. Hey, Jeets, don't get your knickers in a bunch. I'll be there in a moment. I need to adjust my hot bars. The camp's up here. Is it now? It's where? Come on. Are you still rushing me, Jeets? Uh, kids. I don't know what I'm going to do with that Jeets fella. Which way is it? Up here. All right, cheats, I'm coming, I'm coming. Here we are. So you want a weapon or not? Let's see here. Pop that out. Drag that over. Character. As you take hold of the weapon, feeling its balance, you can't help but notice this. Jeets has more he wants to say. A little bit laggy here. Salimus is in the grotto. I shall show you the way.
Tell me, was it exciting to see a dragon up close? Is this Salimus, the cleric you were sent to find? Who in Kyber are you? First, I shall surround us with a protection spell. Her spell temporarily prevents you from dying, though you can still suffer injuries. Hmm. I should have picked a couple this of This effect will wear off when you leave these caves. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to try to make this go as quickly as possible because we've done it a couple times already. We know the path. We've done it with our barbarian and our rogue. You hear the shuffling and wheezing of some creature coming from the corridor ahead. The corroded lever at the rear of this corridor most likely controls the gate where the cleric, Salimus, is waiting. Good job, but no time to dawdle. Salimus isn't too hot to me. Thanks for putting in the good word. Charge! What, it's empty? Oi, where's the bloody Suwagin? Look, the door closed behind us. It would be logical to assume. There are more of them up there. Stay alert. is the fate of evil. Now, let's find a way out of here. Can't pick this. Anyone see a key? Curious. I just stepped on something. Good work! I see a key down there. Who's up for a swim? You grab the silver key. Time to swim for the surface. I'm weary. Let's take a moment to rest. Crikey! One of my biggest complaints has always been this trap doesn't do any damage. Ha, it was no match for yours, truly. You can open the door now. to go the high priestess should be up ahead the onus for much suffering rests squarely upon her slimy webbed hands <laughs> Minus one slash, huh? There's a Interesting. Passage around here somewhere leading to Corthos. You boys look for it. I must 
cleanse the profane energies around the shrine. Let Salimus do her thing. You and I'll take care of the important stuff. The treasure. Senses are tingling. You feel a stiff room. draft Toss from somewhere around. in this room. Perhaps the hidden passage to the village really? is in here. Tidy lashes and pints up the wazoo. Here I come. We're almost done here. The way out is up ahead. But first, I want to reward you for your assistance. Please come speak with me. Alrighty. <coughs> Stepping out of the grotto, you find yourself in Korthos village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. Judging from how it looks now, the Sahuagin are winning. However, some hopeful souls still need for help to arrive. Welcome. Now oh, looks like he's already Thank you. got Elite unlocked. Coming from deep in the crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Caius strange. Sarcophagi line the walls. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you found some kind of secret door in the wall. This is a dark and dusty passage. It doesn't look like anyone's come through here in decades. A chest. It's out of acid sprays out of the wall as the gate slams shut. Were those cultists up to a treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here? There's a Sahuagin in here performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of a magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. As you slay these foul cultists, 
take care to keep your own health up. Another treasure chest. Perhaps the cultists brought it here, but it's yours now. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Crag Wolf hated. In life, you served the light. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. In the middle of this chamber is an evil devourer altar. By it, a sahu when the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. Shrine up real quick. Slot some spells that I should have done earlier, but I forgot about. The last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venomous voice. These fools the last ah! shatters. Your bold action saved Korthos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. That's cool, Titan. Sahuagin tide. Yep. Their courage led to naught but grievous yep. injuries. Corthos needs someone with more. Just gonna go just through an order here. Dust and mold fill this ill-maintained storehouse. You can hear the telltale skittering of vermin nearby.
This appears to be the main storeroom. It seems the villagers have been preparing for a protracted siege. A large silver key falls out of the crate. Sarhagen emerges from a hidden passage demanding the key. You mustn't let the scrolls fall into Devara hands. The door swings. It appears that the floor in this room can be moved and rotated. spell dissipates. All that remains now is to take and deliver. I'm gonna pick up a higher for a Canis Crystal. Great. <laughs> Ahead is the cellar where the Caneth crystal is hidden. life-saving heat emanating from the magic crystal Baldar spoke of. But from the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying it.
Dwelling Dang. Orthos is doomed to an icy grave. Yep. You should probably get a higher. I get. I get a little. Is the cellar where the Caneth crystal is hidden. You can feel the life saving heat emanating from the magic crystal Baldar spoke of. But from the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying it. Protecting the Caneth Crystal and saving Korthos. I'm gonna need a nap after this. <laughs> <Coughs. He laughs> on the people's lips as you walk by. Cautious looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. Servant, Divine Disciple.
Ready whenever you are. Ready. Your waiting bears fruit. This must be the collaborator stepping in from the dark. Stalwart defense gives the Sahagin pause, but you hear more of them gathering outside for a final assault. You notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. Titan can ride his bicycle, he can ride his bike. Once he greases the wheels, he can ride it where he likes. Ah, yeah, yeah, I know. Don't quit my day job, right? You have weathered the South Wagon storm. Now, after that traitorous Jacoby Drexel hand, he must have fled into the cellar. Drexel hand isn't here. However, webbed footprints of the chamber beyond the secret passage looks ancient, predating Korthos village. Where's my blade barrier when I need it? the requirements when I mouse over that like that I don't think it should no need for it to there now I can talk without talking in party just have to remember to press F when I want to talk in party Ooh. there's nowhere left to run finish the job
much safer, but only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Sahuagin, out in the wilds of Corthos Island. I did, Titan. Did you? Did you get your 600,000 turbine points that you wanted? You didn't. How dare he? I'm sitting on level two. Damp and fetid as the ancient tunnel descends. The tunnel splits here. Which way to the giantish device? Distant snoring warns you that you are not alone here. If you're careful, you may be able to take the sleeping guards by surprise. Extravagant gong in this room looks capable of truly ear shattering noise. The last Sahagin guard collapses to the floor. But what are they guarding?
With the gong's reverberations, you hear a slight rumble from the larger one. But then it stops. The second strike of the gong produces the telltale sound. I anticipating I am anticipating getting a cool prize myself next month. You spot a rusty hatch submerged in the putrid water. I expect that I will probably get lifetime VIP. You I will get <coughs> a pretty cool 10th anniversary edit pr prize. And a few other prizes. Winter Storm Watch. More snow. Sweet. About time. Hmm. All right. So Laggy. Yes, lifetime VIP. That will be a very cool prize if it comes through. Ahead is the giant device. The freezing mists it is spewing are directed the wrong way. With the right timing, you can get close enough to redirect them. Byron, you dummy. Oh, come on with the lag. I'm gonna lag right in the middle of a jet and die. Yes, I use the Weather Channel alerts. Whoops. Play. I'm not spending actual shards I don't have. I don't have any turbine points. Don't ever show me that again. My stone's the one on the wall to the right over there. The Byron's the one in the middle. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick while you do that, since I'm yellow, yellow box lag anyway.
And I'm back. The mist solidifies into ice over the ancient creature, but it's not enough. You need both jets to affect a thing of this size. Guaranteeing its slumber. Korthos is safe for now. You never do get to see what the creature is. Steam billows from the hidden entrance to an underground complex. Fortune cookie, anyone? How fortunate am I to have a fortune cookie? That tells me how fortunate I am to have a fortune cookie. You enter one of the laboratories where decades ago 
House Caneth first imbued mystical life into automatons. Much later, these automatons became the Warforged. The Star of Riches is shining upon you. I had Chinese Christmas Eve, or Christmas night, because um, it was the only thing open. I was hungry. Negative one search. Still enough. Magical bell that just made me hungry with compressed energy resolutely blocks your On the other side of this locked gate you see a familiar sight Caneth power crystals like the one you saw in icy jets of some alchemical compound coat these humming paint upon turning the valve you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles to flow around your obstruction Without the alchemical jets coating the Canid power crystals, you can now easily dispel the last crystal shatters. The hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. Are you? Hmm. Interesting ceiling decorations. Never had a look at those before. Sawagan found me! Suddenly the air shimmers with devour a magic. The Sahagin have followed you in and are attacking. <laughs> your hands now. They wouldn't have sent so few after me. <coughs> Stay alert.
How do you see what I have to deal with? If the Swahagan get your scent, they won't stop until you're dead. <laughs> Just hold for a little longer. The Swahagan magic is gone. We beat them off. This time. Aiden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. just a little longer then meet amalgam at the base of misery's peak when you're ready with the people of Korthos might I'm going to take level 2 okay i'll take level 3 a mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned kenneth manufactory It seems as if all of Corthos were holding out for news of your next great victory with bated breath. Concentration heal, finish, finish, two action points to spend, um, we went divine cleansing, took two. That's what we want. I think it was altruism that we wanted. <laughs> and then an approved turning. There we go. Let's go pick up a hat with some concentration on it. <coughs> Part of these builds is just using whatever you find or whatever you can buy based on what you have so far. Uh, straw hat has concentration and tumble. And there we go. Why is there a seagull on Corthos Island? I saw a tree into a 
site for sacrifices to the devourer. I'm gonna pick up the explorers while I'm running through out here. Seas from this strategic lookout. formed an elaborate aqueduct that channeled water across the island. The degrees are slightly obscured by the falling water. You enter a musty hall, heavy with silence and the weight of dark stone. sudden, the sense of rot and decay assail your nostrils. Something fat in the corner, you see the glint of metal as the secret door slides open. You see a magical cell across the chamber. Could it be the golden drusel? Apparently my turn isn't very good. Hit dice. Apparently my turn is horrible. It'll get better. Drexel hand stands before you. 
Not alive, but not quite dead. He cackles as he swears vengeance upon you. again before collapsing in a heap of bones. You take the cell key from his remains. Legendary Corthos, huh? You know how many years people have been asking for that? The decrepit catacombs are slightly obscure. I don't anticipate it in the near future. My new internet has been quite short of fantabulous so far. <coughs> the rumbling waves converge into a small body of water. This is wilderness. Well, this is the wilderness, though. Wilderness is kind of game. Resilient spider webs block your path. They don't look capable of withstanding blows from your weapon, though. The cells in this room hold a number of desperate Corthos villagers. Hasty gloves of heel. Hmm. Not bad.
Yes, you do require charisma to turn Titan. Which is why I put some into charisma when I built the tune. You have breached the Devourer's Sanctum. From ahead you hear a woman's plaintive cry for help. Misery's Peak. This entrance leads down into an ancient Kenneth Aqueduct. Forgot to talk to a Malgum at the front gate. I should be able to share it, I think. As long as you turned in the other quest. <clears throat> okay. Follow the sacred and make sacrifices to their evil god of this fell shrine. Swagon Overlook, okay. The only explorer I missed was the Swagon Overlook. Where the rare is. Sits on a log, trying in vain to keep warm. You'll still be there. <coughs> I'm only about a thousand short of um, level three, so this will do level three for me. A boat sure. from the mouth of Misery's Peak. Time. Selimus, ready your party. I'll weaken the barrier for you. Ready! Good. Now to clear your path. Aiden clears the passageway for you. 
Now to find this quarry mine sunder artifact. Victims of the Devara cult arise from the icy land, bound to slay the living and add to their grim manners. Several humanoid figures surround a glowing pedestal. Their putrid forms are frozen in contorted poses, their faces set in silent eternal screams. Recharge my turns. Alright. Our build is your original. We can split up in the next room. Make it go a little faster. Right. I always get lost in here.
The heavy door is locked by a pair of signal crystals. Hopefully the control mechanisms are in this cavern somewhere. Laggy.
Lag is so annoying. With the second signal crystal activated, you hear the stone door at the base of the cavern rolling over. Uh, lag is killing me. I sure hope I get my new internet finished being fixed and set up <coughs> next week. I'm supposed to have 20 slash 2. 20 down, 2 up. So much better than the 6. I'm not working yet, but hopefully it will. Chills run down your spine as you finally come face to face with a dragon that has been terrorizing Korthos. Even at rest, it is a truly awesome beast. The door at the rear of the cavern pops open. Cultists attracted by the roar of combat rush out to confront you. I'd love to be able to finish level 3 and take level 4 before the end of the stream in an hour and 15 minutes. <coughs> and at this rate, it just might happen. Although, the lag is slowing me down quite a bit.
the heavy door. Hopefully the switch is nearby and not too well guarded. The ground quavers, and you look down to see a tunnel beneath the ice. The dragon roars as it thunders after Selimas and Jeets and Talbon. The ruse is working. signal crystal glows with power as you engage the first control lever. But where is the second? Lag is killing me.
feel fresh frozen air gust in from the newly opened door below.
All right, let's see if that lights up some of the um, slack. Let's try that. Waves of psychic energy pound into you as you spot a green crystal on the ledge ahead. At last, this must be the quarry mine sunder. The mind flayer and dragon are locked in a contest of dreams. This could be your chance to destroy the mine sunder. The mind flayer shrieks as it loses the mine sunder's power. The dragon reasserts its will and looks very annoyed. Take this portal, so you won't have to walk back. And like magic, the snows stopped. Savior of Korthos! They cheer as you return. But destiny has greater plans for you than just this small village. So I'm going to restart my client. <laughs> see if we can get rid of some of this... Um... Lag. Any spellcaster type should always take an archivist necklace. <coughs> it's one of the few items that will help you regenerate spell power, especially at low levels. All right, so while the client's closing down, I'm going to use the men's room real quick, take a break for a second, well, while it's reloading, and I will be right back.
while the clan's loading back up, I'm gonna make me a little snack for supper. My fancy can opener. It's child resistant. Clients loading up. You're somebody's child, son. Pick up my bags real quick. I'm gonna pick up my bags. Greetings bag and I'll be ready to do some stuff. I'm going to um, actually pull up the list and do the high XP stuff. Okay. Hoping to be able to take four by the end of the stream. And I just hit three, so... Let me go take three <coughs> and I'll pull up my list. path information stealthy repo all right so ringleader butcher's path um, information is key and stealthy repo seem to be the top four stealthy repo is going to be a pain but Let me 
me take three and then we'll go, um, we'll start here, I guess. Concentration, heal, next. Um, next feat was... Extend. Tells me I get some more spells. Information? Yeah, it's probably the fastest one. the wrong key, I hit control E instead of control R. Alright, so take the next core, grab one of those, accept, close, character, pacifism, divine <laughs> healing, <coughs> Up to the tavern here. I had to slot some spells anyway, so. He'll appreciate me having less to restore. Resist energy. Sounds good for now. Sonic, fire, electric, cold, acid, Picked up some more buffs here, so. All right. Actually, let me extend those. the room you see an iron defense. The beast looks <laughs> Approaching the room is a leap to action. Descending into the basement, you hear another sound of whirring gears and a guttural growl.
Last Supper. Let me rebuff you and then I'll shrine. Okay. Or at least that much. Hello, Rothko. You hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below, and you hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. It sounds like something heavy is being ratcheted into place. I'm a bobber in the water, yay! You hear the rasp of stone against stone from somewhere above, as if a massive barrier is moving aside. I was hoping restarting would help my lag, but it's not. At the moment.
it. Quickly return to the Fairlane representative. It's a nice plate. I'm in level four. Butchers next. All right. Hey, Sir Lona. Set foot on the infamous Butcher's Path, a gauntlet that has inspired many grim tavern tales.
As you approach the dead end, you hear softly padded feet skitter behind you. It's an ambush. <laughs> Yes, I actually do play the game too.
and scratch and scurry somewhere very close by. The stench is worse in this room. Down the hallway, you see a powerful looking archetype. You have seen the Trondodite champion. I don't know if we can make the shrine or not.
Just let them walk away. Okay. And then we'll just have the oozes to deal with when we come back. Take care of that one cobalt and uses and I'll shrine. aren't going anywhere. Go ahead and raise, I'll heal you. <coughs> Alright. I uh, broke a weapon, so I need to put on another one. weapons are broken. Oozes will do that. zero DPS by the way. Yeah, let him go away. Then we'll rebuff. Right. Kinda. Away. Yeah, two of them have.
I have a heavy mace here. Let me take do that one. Gonna zerg it to the end, I think. Wow, we gotta kill this trash, don't we? So it's gonna climb this ladder and we're done in here. <clears throat> I got a break for dinner. Yep. I'm almost done with the stream anyway. It's ten minutes of. Seven deaths. Twelve total. Yep. So that's going to um, wrap up the stream here. Um, <clears throat> I'll run all of the level 1 and 2 elites to cap XP and all that good stuff. Um, <coughs> prepare some stuff. Serene Cloak. Decrease Threat Gen. Yeah. Spend our last action point. Um, pretty sure it goes into improved turning. And then the purpose of that is endless turning at the end to um, regenerate 30% faster for your turns because you're going to use them for your blasts at level 6 and your aura at level 12. <clears throat> so. All 
that rounds out that. It was a good stream, everyone. I will see you Tuesday morning for the um, DDO Wiki talk on Tuesday. And then I will see you again um, next Sunday where we start our um, Drow Wizard on this Argonessen. Everybody have a great week. Catch you later.